Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Christy, Matt, Alonzo, uh, I wish we could make ourselves look more richly early 70s Technicolor oh uh, to talk about the Love Witch. I should have worn one of my little mod dresses and go-go boots and really, really done the eyeliner. Mm. You matching, should always do that. I should always, <laughs> matching green eyeshadow. So um, this is a really trippy and really loving and really impeccably detailed homage to a very specific kind of movie, like late 60s, early 70s melodrama down to the lighting and the way it's shot and the use of zooms and the costumes and the cars and everything and it's um it's a cool little experiment that not a lot of people are gonna get but I dug it it's called the love witch um, Samantha Robinson stars as a young woman who is a witch and she has moved to a small town where there are also witches and she wants to start over fresh after a really bad breakup We'll find out more about that as the movie goes on. And so she makes potions and mashes things up and serves them to men to make them fall in love with her. But she's way too good at it and they fall way too much in love with her so then she has to kill them. Take a look. After Jerry died, the cops wouldn't stop harassing me. They couldn't prove anything. They actually thought that I killed him. Anyways, San Francisco got to be a really bad trip after you left. And that's when I remembered you had that extra apartment. Hey. Hi, I'm Trish. Hi, Trish. Well, what do men want? Just a pretty woman to love and to take care of them. It's looking up Anna Biller, the writer director. Writer, um, director, producer. She also designed the set. She designed the shit out of this movie. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I, you know, we we have seen over the years a lot of movies that are trying to recapture a certain look, a certain vibe. I have never seen a movie that is quite this impeccable at at uh, a very specific kind of movie, and you said late 60s, early 70s melodrama, but mm -hmm. also late 60s, early 70s, a certain kind of horror movie. Yes. Um, yeah. I was reminded of like The Velvet Vampire, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, what's the one they did in Mystery Science Theater, A Touch of Satan. You know, <laughs> like there is, there, there, the, 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 the settings, the makeup, the hair, the just the a weird plot twists that make no sense, that just <laughs> have to get. Style. The acting style. Right. Oh, so the acting, the very did. kind of stiff acting style. The weird, the, the sort of plot machinations that make no sense just to get, because the cop has to be in this place sort of thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is, it, as homage goes, it is spot on. I was thinking about you the whole time. I'm like, it's so <laughs> kind of like Valley of the Dolls. It, beyond the beyond, Valley beyond, of the Dolls. Yeah, they have to be more specific. <laughs> and, uh, and it must have been a lot of fun to shop for this movie and to design oh, it. Yeah, yeah. But it's also a little bit too long. Like, af after like an hour or so, it's like, okay, it's I get okay, you going That here. was my one, it, yeah, it does not need to be a full two hours. It is straight up two full hours. Um, so there are a lot of people who have to die <laughs> and a lot of things have to happen. But what's also cool is within the spot on homage, as you say, there are some very like knowing self-aware kind of anachronistic winks. And so, like, you'll see a car in the background that's like a modern car. Right. Right. But there's a you'll, cell phone at one point. At one point right? <laughs> right. And so she pulls up to this um, Victorian mansion where she's going to be living now, and in, in an old car. But then you see someone else, like in a BMW, like a current BMW, right. getting out of the car <laughs> behind her, and so things like that are happening. Um, it's a lot of fun. Samantha Robinson is sexy and frightening, and yeah. is again doing this perfectly. And then the names are all like. Lyle and Elaine <laughs> and Wayne. They're all like names from that era. So it probably was a lot of fun to make this. Uh, I'm not sure it's everyone's cup of tea as Matt will probably tell us right now. Yeah, I didn't hate this. I just like, <laughs> I, I guess part of it is I don't have a huge background in those films. So like if you're not coming into this, like watching the collected works of Russ Meyer, for instance. <laughs> or, or Hammer. Or Hammer. Mm -hmm. You're going to miss some stuff here. And it's interesting, but there were some elements in it, like I found it in a couple places hard to follow and I couldn't quite get what it was trying to tell me. Is that maybe the point? And maybe, and maybe so. And maybe it's supposed, you know, if it is supposed to be you know, if it is a perfect version of those films, like, then it also perfectly carries over the flaws of some mm -hmm. of those films, right? Well, yeah. Sometimes there are plot elements that that don't make sense, and sometimes it doesn't do a good job of connecting the dots on why somebody's doing something. Sure. And 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 how forgiving you are of that, I think, it has to do with how much you you like the originals. Because, right. like, for example, I've always had kind of a beef with. 
uh, hot fuzz, that it's too <laughs> long. And right. and I've had people say, oh, no, no, because the movies of that era were always too long. And, that, right. and I'm like, well, the, the, be that as it may, right. it's not working right. here. Yeah. But yeah, here, you're right. You, I think you have to kind of be ready to be like, well, this is what one of those movies would do. But, you know, I mean, and it's not like, it doesn't really take this level of homage to anywhere. It's not like a Todd Haynes movie or something where he's really right. nailing the period, but he's also commenting on like what no. that period said about us or how movies lied about what was really happening in the world or whatever like that. Yeah, it's just, it is just an exercise <laughs> in style, but it's a great exercise yeah. in style. I was thinking about that as well. I was thinking about Far From Heaven and how, how perfect right. it is in every way. Um, but yeah, it had some substance to it. This is just like, wow, we're going to have some fun with this. Enjoy the yeah. style, and kids. I didn't even particularly love this kind of movie ever, but I, I, I knew what it was going for and I appreciated that. And uh, But yeah, it, it does not need to be 120 minutes. No. Long. Yeah, maybe that's part of the, my problem with it is that if it was shorter, I might have been more into the experiment of it, mm -hmm. right? Not that it's an experiment, but more into the exercise. Sure. Mm -hmm. But carrying it on that long, it's like, okay, enough for it. Like, we I get it. it. I get it. I get it, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. so what are your numbers then? Six. Okay. Are you saying uh, six? Or I yeah, said that's what I said, wasn't you it? You said 5.8. Oh, 5.8. Sorry, 5.8. <laughs> Don't make me do math on the fly, Matt Atchie. 7.3. Right. I'm saying seven, so um, our average is 6.9. But where is it? It's, it's like way higher. It is than uh, ninety-six percent on the tomato meter. So mm -hmm. people. This is not it. everyone's cup of tea. But if this is your cup of tea, you're gonna enjoy mm -hmm. that cup of tea. Yes. Bye. <laughs>